Today I'm reviewing the all new Lamson Radius Fly Rod. And this rod in particular has the most interesting real seat in the world. Stay tuned. If you check out the website for the Radius, you'll notice that most of the page is dedicated to this real seat, which is interesting because no one else in the history of rods has ever spent that much time and energy describing their real seat, but Lamson does. Needless to say, it works just like any other real seat. And while I'm making fun of their marketing a little bit, this rod is actually really great. And in fact, it's probably the first Lamson rod that I've really truly enjoyed casting. This radius is a fantastic dry fly specialist. And if you're looking for a rod that competes with the likes of the Scott G series at a fraction of the cost, you're gonna to wanna to pay attention to this review. Starting at the bottom, we've got the infamous real seat. Apparently, it does some special things, but I'll just say, look at the website. To me, it's a single up locking real seat with a nice spacer, and it works just like any other real seat. It's not even asymmetrical, but I guess it's got some tech that stops the reel from ever becoming loose, which is cool. I guess. As we move up to the grip, they've taken a page from Sage's book here with a sort of snub-nosed half wells. It feels a little bit different than the Sage grips, but it's still really nice. And I would put the diameter a little bit on the narrower end. It's gonna be great if you've got smaller hands, especially. And then as we move up the blank, you'll notice they've added alignment dots, which saves you that little bit of time on the water, and then pretty standard hardware. SIC stripping guides and hard chrome snake guides going all the way up to the tip. But the real story here is how this rod performs, so let's get it out in the field and check it out. This video is supported 100% by your purchases at Trident Fly Fishing. So if you're in the market for some new tackle, Check us out at tridentflyfishing.com. Starting at our first trout distance of 30 feet, right away, you can tell this is a moderate action fly rod. We were casting Rio Gold on this rod. We've also tried Rio Elite Gold, which honestly I thought was a little bit better, but you've got a ton of feel at that shorter distance. It's just a pleasure to cast and extremely, extremely accurate. And that story extends out to 45 feet. As with most rods, especially nine foot, five weight trout rods like this one, 45 feet tends to be that bread and butter distance. And this rod is no exception. It's just absolutely smooth and perfect with a Rio Gold. But again, you feel that medium action right away. I definitely would not want to be throwing a heavy nymph rig. I don't even know if it would be possible, but it's hyper, hyper accurate with a small dry fly. And because of that more moderate action, you get a lot of feedback in this rod. It's really easy to cast and also really fun to fish. And as we push back to 60 feet, you realize that this rod actually has a fair bit of versatility. Sure, you're gonna slow that casting stroke down a little bit, but it maintains all of that accuracy and all of that great feel, even at the longer distance. This rod would in fact make a great tailwater dry fly rod for rivers like the Missouri and so on. Personally, I'd probably step it up to a six weight if I were doing that, but this rod will definitely get the job done. But at 60 feet, I did feel like it was lacking a little bit of power with the Rio Gold. And if I were making really long casts all day, I'd probably choose a lighter line, maybe a Rio Technical Trout, maybe a Royal Wolf Triangle Taper, just something that's a little bit lighter, maybe a little bit longer of a head to make those casts a little bit easier. And that's the radius in a nutshell. It is, without a doubt, the first Lamson rod that I've honestly really, really liked. It's a fantastic dry fly rod, and it comes in at an absolutely fantastic price. And with that, it's time to give it a Poseidon score. Up first is accuracy, and the Lamson Radius earns a 9.5 out of 10. It's a really, really accurate rod and only loses that half point because it runs out of power at the longer distances. Of course, we didn't try it with a nymph rig, or a big dry fly, so your mileage may vary if you're fishing something other than a small dry fly. Up next is components, and the components on this rod are pretty standard, and it earns a seven out of 10. Yes, even with that real seat. Up next is distance and power, and this is probably the weakest part of this rod, and it's by design. This is a dry fly specialist, and it just doesn't have much in the distance and power category, and it earns a 6.5 out of 10. Up next is the grip, and I really like this grip, but it definitely doesn't feel as nice as a Sage. 
I'm gonna give it an 8.5 out of 10. Up next is looks and workmanship, and this is a fairly standard overseas build, and it's nice, it's functional, but it's definitely not the world's prettiest rod. I'm gonna give it a seven out of 10. Next is swing weight, and the swing weight of this rod comes in at roughly 61 and a half gram meters squared, which is really pretty light. It's not the lightest rod. It's definitely not the lightest dry fly specialist nine foot five weight. Those are more in the low 50 gram meters squared, but in the realm of five weights overall, this is still a really light rod. I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10. In terms of value, the Lamson Radius comes in at $430 and it is a fantastic value if not one of the best values out there. Many of the dry fly specialist rods we see on the market today are super high end. And this rod does everything that those rods do for way less money. Sure, it's not as pretty. You're not getting that craftsmanship, but it's also half the price. I'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10 for value. And last but not least is the cool factor. And Lampson rods are unfortunately not that cool. I'm gonna give it a six out of 10. And that brings us to a total Poseidon score of 63.5. And while that seems low, I'd say this rod loses points in places that maybe aren't that important. So if you're not looking for a rod to show off to your friends and maybe looking for a rod that just catches fish and just does it using dry flies, this rod is maybe as good as any rod out there. If you have questions about this rod, give us a call at 888-413-5211 or email us 24 seven at support at tridentflyfishing.com. We've got a team of fly fishing experts ready to answer your questions. This Lampson Radius and every rod in the Lampson lineup is available with free shipping from tridentflyfishing.com. I'm Ben, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.